Hi there, my name is Corey Colson from Ballistics Coatings and Sealers, Bulletproof Resins, and Megan Supply and Design. And today, I'm here to present to you the Ballistics line. Ballistics is used in over nine industries and has multiple products, as you can tell. So let's jump on in and show you how to apply this to your business today. Fix is ensuring that your surface is clean. If it's clean, it will bond. Ballistics does not require a mechanical profile or grinding to produce its results and is used in the marine industry, solar panels, anti-graffiti, hardscapes, decorative concrete, the list goes on and on. So today we're going to be talking about the different products, what they do, and how they're applied. We're going to start off by diving right into the single component products. Pretty soon you're going to start seeing SC and counterattack reloaded. That is because we are always making changes to better our product line. Initially, when ballistics started, it was containing basically our three components system and primarily focused on the flooring industry. As we've innovated over the years, obviously that's grown quite a bit. So starting off with your single component products, we've got SC and counterattack. These products come in one sheen. They come in a gallon or a quart size uh, and come in gloss. They can be sheen reduced with our simple satin pack. So four of these to one of these will make the product completely matte. What does that give you? That gives you a great range between gloss, luster, satin, and matte. Simply add what you'd like for your desired result. In all of our products, you can use our slip packs. This can be added for additional traction. Now, ballistics already is naturally hydrophobic, which means it's anti-slip under wet conditions. Keep in mind, even though it's anti-slip, that still does require a sole on your shoe to displace the water. If you have environments such as uh, maybe a nightclub or um, uh, a kitchen where it might get wet and that person might have a soleless shoe, a flat or a heel or a duck boot, uh, you are going to absolutely want to consider adding the slip pack. This can be added directly to the product, shaken up and sprayed. So what exactly do you need to install the single component product? Well. To start with all of our products, isopropyl 99. Isopropyl is a great solvent to wipe your surface right before installing any of our products. We also have a pH balanced, uh, where is it here? Obliterate cleaner. Obliterate is awesome for every project and you don't have to worry about residual surfactants, oily suds, or perhaps waxes that are in other cleaners that might counteract the covalent bond process of our products. So where are these products applicable? SC, typically we recommend on, most commonly we see it on floors, uh, we've seen it in the marine industry, um, you know, it is a fantastic product. This is considered our convenience line. This is a convenient product. It is not quite as efficient as our other products and should be sold as such. The price point is a little bit lower than our other products, but there's no mixing, there's no guesswork. It's simply put it in your sprayer and put it down. The single component product should be used in the appropriate setting. Some of our products have up to 1200 degree heat resistance and increased chemical and abrasion resistance. These have about a 9H on the pencil hardness scale for abrasion resistance and are quite chemically resistant. The counterattack typically is reserved. It's about the, the very similar product. This is a, a bit thinner, so it's typically reserved for verticals. Um, both of them are absolutely uh, you know, phenomenal when it comes to protecting. But this one's got a little bit higher UV rating. Uh, so for hardscapes and outdoor projects, typically SC. Counterattack, again, verticals, um, indoor projects, countertops, the list goes on and on. Imagine a macro version of a ceramic coating for a clear coat on a car. Doesn't mean the clear coat doesn't do its job to protect the paint, but you are giving added protection 
Imagine putting this outside on your hardscapes and cutting your pressure washing down. No mold, no mildew, no crystalline salts. You have sealed and protected whatever it is you're going after. The single component and the counterattack are the convenience line. Uh, you can step up to the three component or the two component, but these can be used uh, for, for an array of different things. Uh, in the decorative concrete industry, we focus a lot on you know metallic application, um, you know the uh, grind and seal application, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. We're going to talk about grind and seals. Uh, but these products are great, but they are considered our convenience line. So, quick tip and question. If you are coating hardscapes or something that's got texture in it, there is a product, for some reason, if you want to strip our products off, say it's five or eight years down the road and you'd like to strip them off, but you can't just sand them, you can actually use our silane stripper. This product is great and it works to break down our current products without damaging any surfaces underneath. So for recoats, there's a common misconception that ballistics cannot be recoated. It absolutely can, but it's going to do its job. It's going to push away other things, including itself, if it's nice and glossy. That's the idea behind the product. So in order to remediate the product or remove the product, uh, you either have to mechanically remove it by sanding it or grinding it, or you can use our silane stripper. That's the convenience line. As a special segment, we're going to talk specifically about Counterattack Plus. The only reason I'd like to do this after speaking on Counterattack is because it does share a name and sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. The Counterattack Plus is actually part of our luxury line, but it's extremely, extremely convenient. So, the Counterattack Plus kit comes in a very simple little box. It's going to come with your staining sponge, your microfiber towel, and the solution itself. We sell these in 2 ounce samples, 4 ounce, 8 ounce, 16 ounce, and all the way up to 32 ounces. I could do two kitchens with this little bottle. Now, even though the name is Counterattack Plus, this is not limited to just countertops. These products are absolutely phenomenal. This is one of our quickest curing products. In fact, you put the product down, you rub it in with your staining sponge, and you give it about two minutes and two minutes only. Anything after two minutes, it gets extremely hard. So once you put it down with your staining sponge, you use your towelette to simply hand buff it off. This is going to offer you food safe protection and can go on nearly any surface. For all of you deep pour people and live edge folks that like to work with wood, yes, you can use this over most oils and you can use it directly on your artisan epoxy needs. This is a phenomenal product. It's super affordable. And like I said, this little size right here will do about 100 plus square feet at least. So it's a simple rub on, buff off. You can top coat your epoxy with this stuff in about two minutes and be done with it. So. Let's move on to our three component line. The three component line is the oldest product in the ballistics line and is actually quite easy to use. There are some intricacies about mixing, so be sure to check out our YouTube video on mixing the product. It's actually a very simple process, but it does take about an hour. So you may wanna do so before going to your job site or before approaching your project. The Squire and the NCO are the most common, though we do have a couple of SKUs that are appropriate for LVT and VCT. We also have one specific for metal that is anti-corrosive. This line right here is most commonly used in the epoxy world. This product right here is sold over about a million square foot of flake this year. It's put down over polyaspartic and is a great upsell to flake jobs. This costs you as a contractor about 30 cents a square foot and the added protection values around $1.50 a square foot over your flake jobs. If the polyaspartic is not slow cure, it can be put down as soon as the recoat window has closed for the polyaspartic. So, what does that mean for you flake installers? Check your recoat times on your polyaspartic, but most importantly, go in selling ballistics as an option. This product is going to protect against petroleum, coolant, acids, and all of the things in your garage that can wreck a flake floor. 
The homeowner actually can put this down as well. It is simply that easy over flake. It goes in a simple HDX pump sprayer, like so, and is extremely easy to use and apply over flake. This gives you the option after your job's done to go back with that handy dandy iPad, get your Google review, apply over the flake and leave. This is a great upsell. And as mentioned, we've got many installers that are offering this out of the gate on their flake jobs and then having the option to move down to a polyaspartic. Talk about tire transfer. Z-rated tires are some of the polyaspartic's worst enemies out there. Squire will prevent this. It's also UV impervious. NCO is also used commonly in the epoxy world, but we see it also in the stone world too. So we've seen it used in stone, hardscapes, etc. cetera. It's, a, it's again, very much like the single component and the counterattack you've got a variation of the same product here. It's a little bit thinner. That doesn't make it any weaker. It just makes the application process a little bit different. Squire is also put down over metallics, but we're gonna talk about why our Squire 2.0 is so much easier. The Squire is still our biggest selling product uh, across the board. Uh, it's the most popular product and certainly the product that rose ballistics to its fame. But the NCO, its younger stepbrother, is absolutely phenomenal too. Just a side note, the ballistics line was mimicked after my father's military career. Here you can see the captain, the captain bars uh, and the word squire. My father was an electronic countermeasures officer for the EA-6B Prowler. As a young lieutenant that was promoted to captain, I used to spend my weekends with my dad and his squadron and really looked up to him as a man. So I decided, why not an ode to my father? NCO stands for non-commissioned officer. My dad was a drill instructor in Paris Island for almost 12 years before advancing through the MESEP program. Just a tidbit and note to the brand. Both of these products can accept the slip pack, um, but you cannot change the sheen of the product. Understand that this product here is pretty glossy and this one's about a semi-gloss look, but if you would like to knock the gloss down a little bit and add extra protection, the ballistic slip pack is definitely the way to go. Um, this is a polypropylene base. This one here comes with enough to do about three gallons of material. So if you're ordering online, don't forget your slip pack. Now we're starting to have some fun. We've moved into our brand new reloaded line. As you can tell, there are simply two components in the line. It's as simple as adding the B to the A, shaking it up and using the product. This product goes down much easier than the rest of our products and is typically the choice of those epoxy installers and polished concrete installers out there that want to give their, their floors an added protection that is not attainable through things like guards, right? This is actually a coating that is designed to go over a high traffic floor. The efficacy far exceeds the original products. It is much, much easier to use and is absolutely part of our advanced and luxury line. So be aware that this price point is a little bit higher, but you absolutely get what you pay for. This is an easier product, it goes down smoother, and is absolutely beautiful to the eye. This product does not require a linear mopping pattern and can simply be mopped into the floor. I have videos of my eight-year-old daughter applying this over a $40 a square foot epoxy floor absolutely flawlessly. What is the difference between the Squire 2.0, which as we mentioned, was our most popular product, and our Stealth Coat? The biggest difference between these products is the amount of sheen. The Squire 2.0 is the gloss version and the Stealth Coat is sheenless. That does not mean satin, that does not mean matte. What sheenless means is whatever the sheen of your floor is, this is going to mimic it. So if you have a 400 grit polish and you put this product down, it's going to look at least like a 400 grit polish, right? It's not going to dumb the sheen down. 
for the Squire. You absolutely get the most beautiful gloss over any floor or any surface that you could possibly imagine. This can go directly over epoxy. There's no more waiting for critical recoat windows to, to go on days and days and days. Uh, it's a much more stable product. But again, we're gonna go back to the beginning. If it's clean, it will bond. So you have to be sure, especially with epoxy floors, that the epoxy is not actively gassing off, right? Which is going to repel. You might have some amine blushing and some residual surfactants that can push these products away regardless. Keep in mind, these will bond to glass. So if you've got an unstable product that's actively gassing, it's not clean. So make sure that you clean it and then apply the products afterwards. When you apply your products, you're usually using a mop head as such. You'll notice here, this one's very thin. It's extremely low pile and it does the trick. When you're cleaning, it's a little bit different. You're using something with a reinforced pad in it. Um, if you try to install your ballistics product with a pad like this, it's going to soak everything up into the pad. No bueno. So application with a very thin pad. Some folks also like to use what's called the water whiz. The Water Whiz is a uh, foam block and pad system. We sell those as well uh, that you can use for all kinds of different projects. Keep in mind that these products are also great for all of the industries that we cater to. Um, they are just easier than ever and absolutely the most efficient products that we have on our shelf. So certainly reach out, ask us more about the two component. Uh, this can go directly over any tight floor, epoxy, uh, tile, stone, um, polished concrete. But next, we're going to talk about grind and seal. And that is where ballistics shines the most. No pun intended. All right, so in this segment, we are talking specifically to you polishers and decorative concrete guys out there. We have specially developed our own pre-sealers that are compatible with our ballistics line. The days of intricacies and failures are over. Ballistics' biggest problem in the past, especially with grind and seal, is that we couldn't necessarily recommend one-size-fits-all pre-sealers. So folks were using solvent-based urethanes or solvent-based acrylics, not understanding that our products could re-emulsify them. That can cause delamination. Our product forms a covalent bond to the surface, which means that unless the surface comes up, the product's not coming up. So if our product comes up, there's probably something underneath of it. Could be wax, could be a urethane or an acrylic. So what have we done? We have taken all of the response from our customers and we have developed our own pre-sealers. Now, you'll notice the biggest difference is the white or clear bottle and the black bottle. There's a reason that these are clear and this is black. This is our pro system. It's called Ballista Seal Pro. This product can be put down, simply dipped and rolled or sprayed and rolled, and immediately upon drying, you can use our NCO or our Squire right over top of it. You have the option to put the uh, Stealth Coat or the Squire 2.0 over this as well, but if you're within that budget, I would slide right over here. The black bottles are meant to be played with with the black bottles, right? Ballista Seal Advanced. This is a two-part product. Simply dump the B into the A. This can be dipped and rolled or uh, sprayed and rolled. Um, typically, both of these will take one to two coats depending on the porosity of your slab. However, if you have not used these products with these products over top, you are not going to get something that looks and performs as close to a polish. And that is the reason that I started Ballistics. In my short time of contracting, I used to assess all of the products that we put down and i had a lot of problems with what we were using specifically for grind and seals and protecting agents they weren't chemically resistant they were organic products that that were uh, not uv stable i knew when we put these products down and i was very transparent to the, to the general contractors that these products were not going to last long periods of time if you're looking for a cheap grind and seal product we could certainly offer just this or just this but if you're looking for a grind and seal product that looks and performs like a polish, or you're looking to enhance your polish in things like bathrooms, food prep areas, and other areas that might get uh, worn down and degraded, 
Our products all prevent concrete degradation. They're going to prevent spalls and cracks and efflorescence and all of the things that come along with concrete. Uh, most importantly, they're going to color enhance, right? So as soon as you put these products down, pop, that color is gonna show, even if it's an old floor. Again, these products do not require grinding. They're super easy. Uh, you put them down as soon as you're happy with the level of porosity, whether that's one or two coats. Um, you simply move on to the top coat. So for the Pro, we recommend either the NCO or the Squire, though you can use the Squire 2.0 or Stealth. And then the gold standard is for Ballista Seal Advanced, either the Stealth Coat or the Squire 2.0. Black bottle stick together. Do not put these products here over this. It will do what we talked about a moment ago. It can re-emulsify and actually break the sealer down. This is not compatible with these. This is compatible with all of them. These are water-based products. Uh, all of our products, as, as long as they're not gelled, as long as they're liquid, kept in a nice, cool, dark environment, can be used as long as they're liquid. <laughs> our TDS states around six days. Um, you know, transparently, we do have people that keep great care of their products and like to use them as long as they're liquid. Uh, we would ask that you stick to the TDS, but the products last a very long time. Overall understanding that ballistics is a very versatile line. We have our own cleaners, we have our own solvents, we have our own pre-sealers, uh, after sealers, polish guards. Ballistics has it all. Being the first of its kind allowed us to also integrate an entire line of resins. So if you haven't yet, check out Bulletproof Resins by Ballistics. These little towels will be free in your first pint-sized kit if you're just trying it out. These were made by Matt Schrader over at World Diamond Source. This is his famous Halo wheel. We certainly recommend his cluster wheels and, uh, and dot traps as well for our system, or the supernovas, which are the, um, the hybrid systems. You can also use his slap pads. Again, the products don't need to be ground, right? They will bond regardless. Or we can throw you a ballistics towel. These are pretty cool. And these have the uh, the speed traps on the back. So pretty cool uh, little swag. Certainly ask for a hat or a t-shirt when you call. And one other thing, this product right here can be tinted. We have eight available colors. So if you have a customer that would like maybe a, a, a polish and dye but can't afford it, or maybe they just like a colored grind and seal, it's very easy. You simply add the colorant right to this guy here. Uh, it's between, it's about two ounces or 10% total per gallon. Um, you know, and depending on translucency, you can add a little bit more, but this system is absolutely phenomenal. Guys, we have made ballistics so unbelievably easy and efficient over the last four years. And that is because of your feedback. We appreciate each and every one of our customers. We understand that we maybe rippled and made some waves in this industry, but we are absolutely proud of what we're doing on a daily basis, innovating new products. Our entire resin line is one of the, the biggest selling uh, resin lines in the East Coast, and we will continue to slay it for you guys. So if you haven't, checked out our artist as well. Uh, Dan's Hands, Danny Carrero out of New Jersey. We've got Madden Wolf of Madden Artistry out of Pennsylvania. Uh, Deanna Omer out of uh, UC Woods in um, Missouri. Brandon Landis. If you haven't checked out Brandon's work, Brandon's work, check out the Landis collection. Brandon uses ballistics on all of his overlay projects, as well as Tyler Regith. Tyler's at Tidal Town Epoxy uh, in Wisconsin. Guys, I'll tag them below, but search these guys out, see what they're doing. Absolutely phenomenal people. And right here, I've got uh, Hesh's shirt on. So Hashim with Diverse Designs Overseas uh, can be your provider if you guys are interested in ballistics as well. We look forward to coming over and teaching you guys a class here pretty soon. Uh, so send us a request. Uh, products are currently available across Canada. Uh, we've got 30 distributors uh, in the, the um, United States, North America area. Uh, and then we've got four locations currently overseas and are coming to Dubai as well. So reach out to us, guys, www.squeezeyourtrigger.com. 
if you want to order the product and can't find it on Squeeze Your Trigger, www.supply, the letter N, like Nancy, design.com. You can also order all of our epoxy products, our pigments, our diamond blades, our concrete cutting equipment. We have a little bit of everything, guys, but this is the line we're talking about today, and this is what makes us so excited to be able to serve the decorative concrete industry as the fastest growing supply and fastest growing brand. Thank you guys so much. We absolutely appreciate you. Love you, respect you, and God bless. Have a great day.